All right, gang. Your saltwater guy, Captain Dave Hansen. Today we're going to talk about fishing for yellowtail. We're going to talk about the proper way to yo-yo fish for yellowtail, present the surface iron to yellowtail. We're going to talk about the different aspects of fishing for yellowtail. We're going to talk about fishing them on bait. We're going to talk about fishing them on the iron. And yo-yo uh, iron is like the number one thing this time of year as we start to move into the spring. There's a lot of fish that are suspended right down on the bottom in the squid beds and up and down the coast with all the red crabs and stuff. So we're going to show you the proper way to fish the yo-yo iron, which is a, a lost art. I see so many people and I see them doing it wrong. There's really only two ways to do it, the wrong way and my way. And my way is the right way. So let's talk about this and show you what we're talking about. So you're out on your boat. And you, the captain says, "Are you? You're out on your boat, and you're get, you're gonna go yo-yo the iron. First of all, you're gonna have to have a lure, some type of a lure that is heavy. I like to use these Deception Flash lures from Promar Ahi. You use whatever you think is gonna work the best. Try to figure out what works the best, but it has to be heavy. It has to be able to make it to the bottom. This is a heavier jig. It's gonna make it right down to the bottom. Now." What we're gonna do is we're gonna cast it out, yo-yo in the iron, can you see me? I'm gonna cast it out. Okay. Then we're gonna let it sink all the way to the bottom. When it gets to the bottom, we're gonna put it in gear. We're gonna get the slack out. We're gonna point the rod at the water and we're gonna turn the handle as fast as we can. 10 cranks, then we're gonna drop it back down to the bottom. Let it sink all the way to the bottom, then we're going to crank fast and hard, 10 cranks, and we're going to put it back down to the bottom. We're covering a phenomenal amount of water as we're, we cast it out, and then we wind it in at little increment, 10 crank increments as we wind it in. We do not want to throw it out there and then wind it full speed, because that's going to take the lure off the bottom where those fish, remember they're suspended down by the bottom. So they're not up in that upper water column. So you don't want to throw it out there and then wind it all the way in and then throw it back out there because you're missing where that fish is. That fish is located somewhere on the bottom as you walk it across. Or a lot of times, if you're on a sport boat and the captain says, all right, they're right underneath the boat. You just kind of underhand it out there a little bit. Let it hit the water, let it sink down. Now, when you're letting it sink down, see how I hold my hand? I have my index finger on the spool and my thumb on the trigger as it's sinking. A lot of times you're going to get bit on the sink. You do not want to have your left hand thumb on the back of the reel. You're out of position now. I know that's how your sister's brother's cousin's aunt told you to hold it. That's the wrong way. Left hand always in front of the, the rod or the reel. Left hand in front of the reel. Index finger on the spool thumb on the trigger. That way when it hits the bottom, you're in gear, you're winding, then you're back in free spool, index finger on the spool. Why index finger? Why not thumb back there? Because then you're out of position. When it gets hit on the sink, it'll get hit, it'll just stop for a second and then it'll take off. You go right into gear immediately and onto the crank. If your thumb's back here and you go, now you're bit, now you gotta get your hand up here. Now you gotta move your hand. There's too many times where that's too much time for that fish to have a chance. We never want the fish to have the chance. We always wanna have the chance. This goes instantly into free spool, index finger on the spool, thumb on the trigger, which is in and out of gear, right back into gear, cranking. Free spool, back into gear, cranking. When you're yo-yoing the iron straight up and down under the boat, you do not want to do this. I don't know what this is, but this is not yo-yoing. This is like swatting, we call it swatting flies on my boat. This is really fun, I guess. I guess you look good on TV, but yo-yoing the iron is putting the reel in gear. Five or six quick winds back into freeze pull, back down to the bottom. Those fish are down on the bottom suspended. If you're fishing in 120 or 200 feet of water, those fish at 120, they're probably in that 120 
to 100 foot zone. They're not up, they're not right laying on the bottom, they're somewhere in that 20 foot zone. So you don't want to crank your lure right through them and right back up to the boat. You want to go six cranks real fast, six cranks, back into free spool, let it go out. Six cranks, back into free spool, let it go out. A lot of times, gang, that fish is going to react right when you put it in free spool to drop it back down and it looks like the bait died, it's starting to sink. That fish is going to react to it and eat it on the sink. That's why you got to be ready, left hand in front, index finger on the spool, thumb on the trigger. Five or six cranks, that'll get you 20 feet of water, then back into free spool. Never ever do you let the jig just lay on the bottom or set up high, but you want to keep working that zone. A lot of times though, I like to do it the way I showed you first. I'll cast it out. Let it sink, go all the way to the bottom. That way I can work an area from a 150 yards out, back to the boat, in little short burst, then back down. Then another short burst, then back down. This is gonna cover that water column where those fish are way far away. Plus it gives that angle of the lure, making it look like a bait fish trying to swim. Instead of going straight up, he's trying to swim away from the fish. It's just gonna be better. It's a better coverage area and it's way better technique for yo-yoing the iron off the bottom. So, that being said, this is just one of the many techniques. We're gonna keep this going next week. Next Tuesday, we'll have another video to show you how to fish the surface iron. And then the following week, we'll have a bait, how to fish the mackerel, how to fish the sardine for yellowtail. All three of these videos will be about yellowtail fishing. They'll all be for you on the YouTube channel. They're also available to you on my on my um, website, YourSaltWaterGuide.com. Check out the website. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment, gang. We'll cover everything you need to know about fishing in Southern California. Right now, it's all about yellowtail as we start to go into the springtime. There's gonna be yellows all over the place. This covered up, covered up how to yo-yo the iron. Hopefully you all understand that now. This is not yo-yoing the iron. I know your sister's brother's aunt's cousin does this and they caught a fish once, but that's not yo-yoing the iron, gang. Cranking as fast as you can, dropping it back down. Crank as fast as you can, drop it back down. That's yo-yoing the iron. Thanks for joining us, your saltwater guide. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Good job.